Podcast with Chief Meteorologist Duffler Dave Oliver. Well, hey, everyone. I uh, hope all is well with you on this day before Thanksgiving. A lot of travel today, a lot of preparation for Thanksgiving tomorrow. We've had a really nice day, partly cloudy skies. Temperatures have been up in over 60 degrees most areas. Uh, only fall back today, the wind has been kind of stout, 15 to 25. A few folks are gusting around 30 miles per hour. Nothing horrendous, but definitely a warm, breezy day. But let's track that wind going in tonight. That's a northerly wind shift by morning. And it looks like tomorrow, just blustery north winds all day behind a pretty strong cold front. We're probably going to gust 35, maybe 40 miles per hour. And uh, look at our colder air up in here. That's pushing south, and I think tomorrow, is going to feel about 40 degrees cooler than today. Actual temperatures, upper 30s to around 40. But then we throw that wind in there. And uh, this is our wind chill outlook almost all day tomorrow. It's going to feel like we are in the 20s. So count on a brisk and blustery Thanksgiving. Now we're tracking this. Here comes our upper level low. It's a uh, pretty strong wind, but uh, the exact track that this takes is really going to determine where and how much snow falls. Right now, I think we're going to have two opportunities for snow. The first one comes tomorrow afternoon as we get the first little piece of energy. Then that low is going to dig way on down to the south, hang out there for a little while. Friday, we'll probably see a decrease in snow potential. And then Friday night, Saturday, it starts to make another comeback, this time from the southwest. I think we'll see more rain, snow getting into our area Friday night into Saturday morning. Still a lot of questions because this one's just kind of difficult to track. Right now we're favoring the southern part of the area for the most impact, kind of medium around Amarillo, but we're looking at maybe a few inches of snow down across the south, maybe a little less across uh, the central part of the area. We do have a winter storm watch for the southwestern part of the area. We are going into a first alert situation just because we could have hazardous roads at some point or maybe a couple points over your Thanksgiving uh, break. Of course, we'll have the latest on that and pass that along every newscast. We'll be back with the next one at 5 o'clock. We'll see you for Live at 5.